Um, to your knowledge, what uh, what does coal actually consist of as a uh, as a, you know what's in what's in coal? There is or, or is uh, that maybe beyond the scope of? No, um, the basic answer is coal is an organic substance. Uh, it's basically a peat uh, that's been pressurized over time and the water has been removed over time. Uh, as with many organics, it picks up uh, components that are present in the soil. Uh, so those are chemicals that either pass through it or pass by it and it gets absorbed into the, into the organic structure. So uh, coal has a variety of chemical components in it and organic structures within the uh, coal. Uh, what's important to understand is that um, we are handling unburned coal uh, and coal in that state uh, does not release those chemical components into the environment. So uh, coal in its transportation uh, state is uh, considered relatively benign. Um, the, the toxic component from coal comes from when those uh, chemical components are released into the environment through, through a modification. And the modification comes from burning that coal. Thank you. And, and I did want to ask that question because in the doctor's uh, report that he put forward, and I think it was mentioned uh, tonight in, in the questioner that came forward, <coughs> and um, <coughs> basically um, speaks about um, the summary, uh, a brief summary on the type and composition of coal to be shipped is provided in the draft EIA. Correct. The description, unfortunately, does not contain information regarding mercury, lead, arsenic, and other possible contaminants as requested by Dr. Van, um, Van Bynard, Bynard uh, uh, in his May the 27th letter. And that was something I was kind of concerned about uh, in terms of mercury, lead, and arsenic, but I'm given to understand that you only have mercury, lead, and arsenic after the coal has been actually burned and it's in the ash and the fly ash. Is that correct? Yes. So what happens specifically in, in terms of the coal, and that information is contained within the EIA. Yes. Uh, there is a breakdown of the chemical composition of the coal in the EIA, and it talks about uh, some of the variabilities of coal. Uh, but you know, essentially, uh, that is exactly what happens. The uh, composition of those products within the coal mm -hmm. remain contained within the coal. Uh, whether that uh, coal is handled uh, through its transportation network or whether that coal gets deposited in water, um, it's contained until there is a change in condition and the change in condition that uh, releases those components is the actual burning of coal. Okay, and that is addressed in the EIA? Yes. Thank you.